Brad, the Chicago family wonders whether or not that abandoned newborn is the son of a missing loved one. She was nine months pregnant when she disappeared, and she was due to deliver her baby over the weekend. Soon after, the newborn baby boy was found on a trash can Tuesday afternoon. You could tell the baby was, uh, it had just been born because the umbilical cord was still there. In an alley here in the 1700 block of North Keystone, this family was hopeful. Este bebé que se encontró ayer. The baby that was found yesterday, there's a possibility. It's my daughter's. I pray to God it is. They are the relatives of Marlon Lopez, a 19-year-old woman last seen on April 23rd, leaving the Latino Youth Alternative High School. She was nine months pregnant. Her due date was last Sunday. They wonder, they pray, the newborn is Marlon's. Giovanni Lopez is her husband. Hasta ahorita el momento no nos pudieron hacer este, una prueba de ADN. To the moment, we haven't had a DNA test to confirm. We hope that it is the baby, but we're also worried that my wife won't appear. Chicago Fire Department paramedics worked feverishly to save the newborn, described as near death, cold as concrete. I wasn't ready to lose this one today, and, and neither were they. We just kept working CPR. We kept ventilating him with the... Um, the mask in the bag. Now the wait to see if the infant at Lurie Children's Hospital is the newest member of the family. We're desperate, we're sad, in hopes that the baby they found is my wife's. Chicago police tell us they are working with the family to get a DNA test. The fire department says the baby is stable. Live outside of Lurie Children's Hospital, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News.